Welcome back to my kitchen! Today, for this episode of Matia Makes, we are going to make some mini donuts. Instead of frying them, we're gonna bake them, so it's slightly less bad for you. I only did it once and it turned out great, so hopefully I can redo them and they will be even better. Right before we begin, make sure of two things. One, that your oven is on at 175 degrees Celsius. And the second thing is that you have one of these and you take some melted butter and you just swirl it in there so when you put the paste later, it won't attach while cooking. As soon as you're done with this, you can put that aside and instead you can take a little bowl. We're gonna need two thirds of a cup of plain white flour, I have mine here. So let's put it in that tiny bowl. One and two. In the same mix, we're gonna add a little bit of baking powder and I have half a tablespoon here. We just add it in there. Next, just a very little pinch of salt and you can skip this, but I'm gonna add just a bit of cinnamon because I love cinnamon, but you definitely don't have to do this at all. So now just whisk everything together and then you can just put that aside for now. We can now take another bowl and in here we're gonna put some milk and vanilla and mix it together. The amount of milk we need is a fourth of a cup and then we take our vanilla flavoring and we put just a few drops in there to give it some extra flavor. Now on a bigger bowl instead we're gonna take five tablespoons of softened butter. It's quite a lot, I know, but we're gonna all add it in there. And to this, we're gonna add a third of a cup of regular white sugar. You don't have to do it for too long because as soon as it's kind of fluffy, you can take an egg and break it and add it in. Make it blend in all together just by mixing it with a regular spoon. Right now, I'm gonna add a little bit of this one. And when this is all absorbed, I'm gonna add in the milk and then repeat until I'm done with everything. When you're at the point where your paste is kind of like smooth, you can take it all and put it in one of these bags. And then slowly, you move all your paste in here. So now what you wanna do is to take the tray Cut the little tip over here, and then you just put the paste inside each donut hole. I'm not sure how many I can make with this. Let's see. Will I make it? <gasps> no. Now that this is ready, we can open the oven, put them in for about 10 minutes. I would suggest always checking on it every few minutes just to make sure they don't burn. Then you take a toothpick, you, you kind of poke it to see if it's all dry, and that's when they are done. But you thought I was done? No, I'm not, because we need to think ahead. We have to glaze them, is that the word? Put the topping on them. I mean, you don't have to, but I want to. I've got lots of chocolate. One is caramel, one is strawberry, and the last one is white chocolate. So I'm gonna melt it while I wait for that. This is actually not that exciting because it takes quite a lot of time in just waiting, but let's wait. It's been about 10 minutes, I melted all the chocolate. I'm gonna put it all in here, so pretty. Now we can take out the donuts. Gonna put them all here. Do you guys think they are ready? <gasps> yes! just to kind of scoop them out. So now let's do the pink one. Dark and white chocolate. And voila! I have a bunch of donuts, but those I'm keeping for Poods. He's gonna be home late tonight. So hopefully I'm gonna get a shot. If I do, here, I made you donuts. Oh wow, this looks great. You should taste one. Yeah, I'll do the chocolate one. Mmm, soft. You really improved a lot. Thank you. You're sure great. 10 donuts out of 
And now it's time for me to taste them. So I got three for myself. Let's go with the white one. tell how soft it is so good I wish you could taste them because for once I think they taste so good I am seriously so pleased and with this recipe you get to make so many so if you have friends over you can offer these to them they are so delicious pretty easy to make so if you try to make these send me a picture anywhere like on Twitter or Instagram I always love to see what you make and now I'm gonna go I'll see you next week bye Thanks for watching!